the greatest Roblox bottleneck. The number one thing that holds back devs. This is going to hit hard for many of you because this is the exact issue that happens to both solo devs and small teams, even big teams on Roblox and people with a lot of money. This is the greatest problem that costs the most time and delays your projects the most. What is it? Execution reliability. Now, this comes down to you and how consistent you are on your projects, but it also comes down to how people tend to work in the Roblox community when you hire them. And across the board, what I have seen from most devs, whether ones that I work with or ones that I see working on games, right, but especially ones that I hire, is they are very incompetent. They are very lazy in most cases. They're very inconsistent. And I don't say this to attack them, but to shine a light on the fact that most devs might have skill, right? but they are incompetent in using that skill to actually finish games. Or people that you commission are bad at finishing the work that you hire them for. Most devs flake or they disappear or they stall out on you halfway through taking a commission. Oh, my computer broke. I'm busy with finals. Uh, life is hard, man. 90% of the time when I commission somebody, maybe 80%. 70-80% to be f generous. People that I hire will freeze on the commission a few days in or halfway through, and they will stall for weeks, whether that's scripting, building, modeling, UI design, whatever. And I was having this problem with every dev, like most devs that I would hire for years until I found people outside of the Roblox community who actually know how to work. Now, these people aren't perfect, but... The people I hired on a job hiring site, as opposed to people who are in the Roblox community, are far more reliable, far more consistent. They actually put the time in, put the effort in every day, submit work to me most days, and take time to do their hours. And I can't say the same for most devs in this community that I hire. So it's gotten to the point where, and it's been like this for a long time, you are better off finding a dev outside of the community to hire, finding programmers outside of Roblox, because most of the people you can hire in this community, even the people with hundreds or thousands of followers on X with quote unquote good reviews, they're slow. They don't finish things or they take extremely long and they don't fulfill the deadline that you set for them on the commission. You say, hey, finish this in three days. They'll be like, ah, no problem. I'll do it in two days. And then it ends up taking them three weeks and a long line of excuses. And this is the reality of this community. The greatest Roblox bottleneck is execution reliability. And this isn't just something that means that you get a build that's a bit late. This is something that delays your entire project. So it becomes a bottleneck in the entire system of your development pipeline. So for years, this delayed projects of mine. Most devs are not getting the work done. Most programmers especially. Programmers tend to be the slowest devs anywhere. This makes sense because programming is the hardest, most technical Roblox development skill in studio. It is the skill that takes the most know-how of how Lua U works, of how the Roblox engine works. But that is no excuse for taking months and months and months and months, even years, to finish a commission you were hired for and agreed to get done quickly. You agreed to get it done in a certain time span and you failed to meet the requirements. And then you use a bunch of excuses like, oh, it was my exams, my computer stopped working. Oh, I got hired by somebody else. Okay, that makes perfect sense. You got hired by us and now you're going to work for somebody else. Moral of the story here is most people in this community, they just can't do the work. That That's it. And it's really the hobbyist approach to development that's killing them. They're inconsistent they aren't disciplined, right? They don't work every single day. They might claim that it's their exams, but really it's their lack of time management. You can work around those exams. You can work at the same time, or you can at least inform people sooner that you have exams if you're getting a commission from that person. But this is the reality. So you need a structure. You need to be strategy first. And that goes all the way down the line from your business mindset down to your 
marketing, down to your game design, all the way down to your production. And your production system and your project management has to be strategic. It has to be strategy first as well. It can't just be based on emotion. Oh, we're going to work this week because we're super passionate about our game. We feel like working. But this next week, I'm going to take an entire week off. Can't be executing like that. Unless you have a team that you know is working for you behind the scenes. And I say this as somebody who's done that tons of times. I have been one of the worst culprits of that. Taking a week off, getting back to development, taking another week off. It's nonsense and it doesn't work. And the only time that I've started to see results in the output that I get is when I'm consistent, when I am working daily on my projects or I have devs that I've hired who are working daily, like in the new game that we're building, this new land game, right? this new meme shooter that we're working on. And really at the end of the day, Roblox dev for hire is a mess. It has inflated rates, unreliable deliverables, and all kinds of other problems. So save yourself the headache, network, right? Find people who are actually good, right? And judge them before you hire them. Have conversations with different developers, get to know them, see how they work, and then hire people. If you build that network, you talk to people all the time, you can put yourself in a better position. And you might even be able to bypass hiring them altogether and work with them for free, work with them as friends. But also look outside the Roblox marketplace, look at job hiring sites, and find people who will get the work done as promised. That's what I've done. I've had a much better experience than hiring people directly in the Roblox community on X or on Discord servers. And I think that you will find the same because this is such a common problem. And it is the greatest limiting constraint in releasing Roblox projects. And you might find this in yourself. You might find this in others, but you gotta fix it. Now, what can you do besides hiring other people? Well, you can also optimize the output. So the number one thing in management comes from this book called High Output Management that was written by the CEO of Intel. And in this book, one of the main tenets is judging everybody based on output, judging what they get done based on tangible results. Like, hey, I got these three systems scripted today. I got these four models done rather than whether you felt productive or not, vibes or whatever. I felt like this was a really good day. Right? You can feel like it's a good day, but you gotta have evidence for that. You gotta have reasons. So track your output, this is essential. Track what you did every day. And it's not gonna be perfect every day, but if you have that on paper, right, you'll be able to improve upon it because until you can see it, you aren't aware of it and therefore you can't make change. You can only make change when you know what the problem is when you can properly diagnose it. So track your employees by output, tell them or tell your commissioners to send you a daily log of what they did, have the date at the top, have it all nice and neat and tell them to track that every day, keep them accountable, hold them to doing that and then do that for yourself too. High Output Management is the book, I'm still reading it, I recommend it, check that out. I'll give an affiliate link in the description, it's on Audible and I think Taking the principles in that book and applying it to Roblox development at scale will take you to the next level. So I will see you next video. If you wanna see more videos on project management, let me know in the comments and peace.